Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. My name is JC. If you haven't seen my face before, today's video is a Curse for True Love reading vlog. Guys, I am so excited for this video. Like, this has been long anticipated, right? Like, we have all been dying for October 24th to come. I pre-ordered it. It showed up at my doorstep. Let's get going. Of course, I couldn't open this without doing it on camera, so we had to get the first impressions. I'm so dramatic and I'm, I'm not sorry about it. It's stunning. Quite literally speechless. This is gorgeous. And I actually match the book. I love these covers. I have the first one, I'm ordering the second, and then I will have this one too, like all these copies, these versions. Okay, I have to run to an appointment, and then the moment I get back, we're starting this book. Okay, I'm back from my appointment. I am finally ready to dive into this book. I do want to say that this is a spoiler-free reading vlog with a spoiler section at the very end. So here are the timestamps of that, but I will also very clearly remind you whenever I get into any spoilers at the very end. I'm way too scared of ruining the dust jacket. Like, I'm just obsessed. I absolutely upset i say it. i'm like so worried of ruining it and i just like throw it onto my bed <sighs> i'm way too emotional right now to be reading this book if i'm being so honest literally all it is is the dedication and i'm like sob <sighs> okay stunning once Upon a Time in the Magnificent North. So all of her books always have a map at the beginning. And this one. It's gorgeous. I feel like those of you that are like fans of this book are probably the only ones actually watching this reading vlog. But like, you get it, right? Like, we're all utterly obsessed. And like, the dedication makes us cry. Like, it's just where we're at. I'm not going to be able to get through this book. Okay. I just read the first chapter. Guys, we're we're 10 pages in my heart is just it hurts it's happy i want to cry so this book starts immediately where the ballad of never after ends like quite literally instead of starting with like part one it starts with part four happily ever after like that's how that last book is ending so you just immediately jump into that continuation the first chapter alone got me, okay? That's all I'm gonna say. First chapter alone, I'm swooning. <laughs> I just love this world so much and these characters so much. And I don't know how I want to be updating, but I figured after the first chapter, I had thoughts, I had feelings, and they needed to be shared. So, on to chapter two. All I did was read eight more pages, finish chapter two, and I shed a tear. I don't know what Stephanie Garber is putting in this, but oh God, I love her writing. Like, she just makes it so beyond easy to read. And obviously, by the time we're on the third book, like, we are so invested in the characters and we're just, like, dying to figure out how this all ends. But, like, I'm going through it. <laughs> so, I'm going to continue reading. I'm loving this. Like, Loving this.
Guys, 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 this book. Oh my god. So I just finished chapter three. This is duo POV, at least duo POV. Um, and so we've had the same POV for the first three chapters and now we're switching and so I'm just kind of excited to get into someone else's head. Like, okay, let's continue. Just finished chapter four. What in tarnation? What? People are already upsetting me. People are already upsetting me. I mean, I just gotta continue, but like, man, that chapter. Not a fan. <laughs> not a fan of different people's opinions. Guys, you know, at one point I was just gonna start, you know, reading and then like I'll update every few chapters. I've only read chapter five. One more chapter and I'm just like, oh, what? That's how good this book is. That is how good this book is. I'm just like in shock every single time <laughs> that I read a chapter. Jeez, Stephanie Garber. It's the next day. We're continuing on with the book. If it weren't for this video, I just would have read it yesterday. Like, I know that. I could not stop thinking about this book, but I really want to make an effort with the reading vlog and actually kind of read it with you guys and do my best to show that. So, here we are. We're on chapter six. Let's continue. Eventually, I'm going to reach a point where I'll be able to read a couple more chapters, I'm assuming, without having to stop every chapter. But guys, all I did was read one more chapter, and you saw the emotions. You I get so triggered. Like, triggered in not necessarily a negative way, but just like, oh, I read a name. I read a memory from a previous book, and I'm like, my heart's exploding. I'm feeling all sorts of things. It's just so quick. It comes back. Ugh. Chapter 7. Let's keep going. Okay, I read chapters 7 and 8, but 8 was only 3 pages, so does that really count? <sighs> like, I'm feeling for my girl Evangeline. She's going through it. All these characters are upsetting me. I love how Evangeline is handling things at this point, considering the circumstances. Like, yes, queen, absolutely. So, I'm going to continue reading, but... Man, I'm feeling for my girl. Something I'm loving about this book and just the writing of it and everything and structure is I'm only on page 90 and I'm on chapter 10. So the chapters themselves are pretty short and it is really fast paced and things are revealed to you throughout each chapter that just like makes you want to continue like beyond us being totally invested and needing to know how things end up 
it's just the way it's written like it's not hard to continue that strong feeling of just like I need to keep reading this like every chapter there's just something that's told to us or kind of revealed for Evangeline and I'm just like thank you Stephanie Garber I can't get enough I truly cannot get enough When I told you I'm not emotionally stable enough to be reading this book right now, I'm not emotionally stable enough. Like, I shed tears in that chapter. And, I mean, they were happy tears. They weren't sad. I'm just emotional. And when things happen that are positive or cute or whatever, I... I'm crying, I guess. On to chapter... On to chapter 11, and I just saw whose POV it is. I need this right now in the story. Absolutely, we need this POV. I'm gonna keep going. I, this is embarrassing, and I'm sorry. <laughs> on chapter 13 and that's where we're at and that's where we're at characters are upsetting me characters are making me frustrated I'm on chapter 16 now I'm 127 pages in, so it's only been 27 pages for the last five chapters. So they've been pretty quick, and I'm just like, mm, I'm getting bothered, <laughs> but like in a good way. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not upset with the story. It's more just like, oh, what's going on? I'm like, ugh, sir. Okay, I'm going to continue to support my girl Evangeline through her journey. Let's keep reading. Okay, I'm on chapter 18, so I'm on page 144, and I am liking that we're getting introduced to more and more characters that have been in books one and two. I'm having a hard time. I did not read The Ballad of Never After that long ago, but I think me reading the Caraval trilogy and the first two books in this trilogy so close together, I'm like, wait, am I remembering this from what book? Or what, like, where am I placing this of these characters? So that part I'm struggling a little bit with. I'm tempted to just, like, Google The Ballad of Never After spark notes. <laughs> I think it's very interesting getting more characters, especially just having them interact with Evangeline it's very relevant and important and it has me a little on edge like every time so I'm liking I'm liking this I'm loving loving our main characters <laughs> I'm so not okay like I'm so not okay Whew, okay I'm gonna continue I need like I needed to update you guys but like I've got to continue this. Chapter 18, here we go. <laughs> One, my brain is so scattered. 
I only read one chapter. I only read chapter 18 and I'm crying again. And then the last sentence, I'm like, oh shoot, I gotta keep going. I can't update you guys. But listen, I cried. My heart's melting. It's exploding. I'm going through all sorts of emotions. I gotta, I gotta, wait, what? Why are we changing POVs? Okay, I'm gonna get through, we're getting through this. We're getting through this. So we just took a detour of like two things happening at once and I was like, oh, we're getting a continuation. And I was like, no, let's go deal with this thing over here. And that thing over there just upset me so much. Ugh. How come I feel like we could totally be reading this together? This is going to be a long video. It has to be. And I'm just thinking like someone could have this and we could be buddy reading it. You know what I mean? That just sounds kind of fun. Okay, I'm going to continue, but we better get on back to what I cared about. No, I don't know because now my heart really hurts for that other thing. We'll continue. It's been four weeks since you called And I've been waiting here for you all along I've been waiting here for you all along First of all, I'm excited for our next POV. Second, I'm now on chapter 21, page 166. I'm loving this story. Like, I have loved every moment of this story. All 166 pages. There hasn't been one page I didn't like. Like, yes, there's like things like, oh, I don't like what that person's doing. But it's like not, I don't like what Stephanie Garber wrote for the book. Does that make sense? I feel like that makes sense. This is so good. Okay. We gotta continue. I'm not ready. <laughs> Where you been? Where did you go? I wonder if you found what you're looking for. Wonder if you found what you're looking for. This is just getting so good. So good. I'm on chapter 23, so I just read a couple chapters on page 182. Huge thing just happened. And I'm like, I knew that was coming. I mean, it's bound to happen, but like, here's the thing. We love toxic men. Okay, we do. I don't make those rules. I just follow them. We love toxic men. <laughs> I hope it's not too late. Guys, I don't think I'm remembering parts of The Ballad of Never After. I mean, I know that... What? Wow. On to chapter 26. The story's getting easier to like, okay, I don't have to stop at every chapter to freak out to you guys. I'm sure we're all grateful for that. But yeah, I'm on it, chapter 26, page 206. This is just like, I don't even know what to think or what to feel. And I'm so excited and I'm also anxious and I'm not okay. Like, reading this book, I just feel so unwell in the best way possible. I can't. But I need to. But I can't. But I have to. <gasps> I think this book is gonna hurt me. <laughs> I just needed a moment to collect myself before I dive into that next POV. And just the next chapter of where this book's going. Here with me. We never should have said it's better this way. I'd rather be with you than someone I don't know. Now it's like we're living in two separate worlds Come on back to me Say that you won't go I can't cope without you And I wanna hold you close <laughs> Guys I'm about to start Chapter 28 <laughs> Everything about these last two chapters Everything Everything 
And the way that 27 just ended, oh, girl. We love that trope here. We love that trope here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You know, I told myself, like, oh, it gets already a very gloomy day. The sun's going to be going down soon. Maybe I should just finish this tomorrow. Just, you know, I was going to stop. And now I'm like, no shot. Can I stop on this chapter? One more chapter. Just, just one more chapter. I have so many other things to be doing right now. One more chapter. That's it. Just one more, okay? Say that you won't go. Say that you won't. Okay, I can't just one more chapter. I don't know what Stephanie put in this book, but girl, I'm here for it. It's been so cold without you here. We barely said goodbye before you disappear. It's been so cold without you. I've realized I only want you. What? I don't know what to think and what to feel. I just went through so much in that chapter. I am now on chapter 30, page 240. I have stuff to do. I can't, I can't do this. I want so badly to continue this story. But I would rather sit here and finish the rest of this in one sitting. And I have stuff to do. And I also just need to really sit with these emotions and these thoughts. I'll see you tomorrow. And we are finishing this book. It's the next day. I've finished everything I need to do today. So we are sitting here and we are finishing this book. I'm on chapter 30. This ended on such a cliffhanger when I finished reading yesterday. So... I'm very highly anticipating finishing this book. Oh my god. I just read one chapter, okay? So just chapter 30. Now on chapter 31, page 256. Once again, I am feeling for my girl Evangeline. Like, she's just going through it. She's going through it. She is trying her best. These men are just acting up. I'm gonna continue, but I just, I really need to say that because it's just ridiculous. This is a good day as any To start the rebuilding of life the roads that they open are many. Okay, I read two chapters. So I'm now on chapter 33, page 274. Okay, I'm struggling. I, I have questions. I have questions and I don't know who to trust. I don't know what characters are good and bad. Like beyond our main characters and like questioning their intentions and their actions. Like there's a good amount of side characters that we've been introduced to through books one and two and I'm just like what are you doing and is this gonna hurt my feelings is it gonna make me cry am I gonna be upset or am I gonna be like I understand why you did that it was secretly good okay you know what I mean I just don't know there are 379 pages so I have about 100 pages left we can do this, but I'm just like going, going through it with these side characters right now. So we'll see how this continues. And the old one's gone under the knife, and I can feel the sun on my skin. Begin to thaw. I'm now in chapter 35. Guys, guys, 
it's getting real okay it's getting really real and I love it I love every moment of it Whew, we're changing POVs now though and I'm getting a little nervous I feel like we're jumping back to a different part of like you know it's like two things going on at the same time we're jumping to the other part which fine whatever but I want to continue where we were Bye. This morning I so clear a lot as I need To see the horizon and the far Excuses were two for a penny But they've all gone out the window of the Okay, I'm now on chapter 37, page 312 I'm loving, loving, loving the side characters right now Stephanie Garber, I'm going to be honest, I would not be upset with another trilogy. Think about it. Get back to me. I just need a moment to breathe. And then we're going to continue. This car, and when I feel the wind on my face All that ever was is a Okay, I'm on chapter 40, page 330. The side characters, man. I'm upset. It's so good. I can't stop reading. I just, I don't know what's going to happen in the last 40 pages. And I just know it's going to involve me crying. Like, I just know that. And I just have to prepare for that. <sighs> There's no... chapter 43 it's so good it's so good and I'm not okay and I love this book so much and I love Stephanie Garber I'm in love I'm gonna keep going I'm on page 251 so I have about like 20 30 pages left we can do this can we yes no but we have to <laughs> Tomorrow there's no time to borrow today Well something's gotta give today is a good day to day and not tomorrow Okay, I'm on chapter 47. There are three more chapters left. And the way this just ended, I am scared. I mean, surely Stephanie Garvey can't do this to me, right? Right? Okay, 
We can do this. We can do this. Okay, okay. Oh my god. I'm on chapter 49, the last chapter. Okay, I just finished the last chapter, chapter 49, but there is a couple pages of an epilogue, so I'm gonna read that and then we'll get the final thoughts. Stephanie Garber, I swear, I swear, I swear. Okay, I'm gonna take a moment and then we're gonna collect ourselves, we're gonna go in the living room and we're gonna talk. Okay guys, finishing this book gave me life. It gave me energy. I want to scream, I want to cry, I want to laugh, I want to love. I haven't had these feelings reading a book since Fourth Wing. Like, that book had me screaming, crying, throwing up. <laughs> and it was just, like, my new life. And this book had me feeling all of those same feelings where I was just laughing. I was feeling love. I was hurting. I was crying. And I just had to know everything that happened. And I just love these characters so much. And Stephanie Garber did that. You know, like, Stephanie Garber did that for us. This was such a beautiful way to wrap up this trilogy and the various things that were told, I guess, at the end, like kind of trying to wrap things up, I thought was amazing. And I said it once, I'll say it again, Stephanie Garber, I will not complain at another trilogy in this world, please, queen. <laughs> I feel like there was enough things that like she didn't have to wrap up that she didn't. And it wasn't like, oh, this is a missing piece, but it's like, I don't know. I feel like we could continue that storyline if we wanted. Stephanie, yeah? Obviously, this is a five-star read for me. This is possibly a six-star read for me. Like, this was an amazing, amazing book. Definitely five stars. This is the end of the spoiler-free section. So, to be clear, moving past this we are going to be talking about some spoilers obviously even that will be a little brief but this is your disclaimer if you haven't read this book if you don't want to hear about those go ahead and click off thank you so much for joining on this reading vlog and i will see you in my next one okay now that we're all here guys i need to get the first thought off the top of my head immediately when i finish this the epilogue ended with other stories were brewing in the magnificent north. We need Castor and Lala. We need their trilogy. We need that journey. Okay. That's what I'm hoping for. That's what I think we're going to be able to get. Stephanie Garber, that is her hint to us. She's giving us another trilogy in this world. I have to believe it. Okay. If I think that this world is over, I can't put myself through that. I think Stephanie Garber is going to give us that. I really do. Okay. Moving on to a few thoughts throughout this book. Apollo, that ending was deserved, okay? Him, I mean, it's the perfect way for him to go. He was driving me absolutely insane, and it sucked because at the beginning, I was like, okay, I always knew I wanted her with Jax, okay? We all knew that. But I was like, oh, man, this guy. And then, like, I learned, and I remembered, and I was like, I hate you. And you're a murderer. I mean, Jax is too, but it's different. <laughs> just Apollo, I hated him so much. And he just irked me so much throughout this whole book. And Aurora, girl, I didn't know what to feel for her. I was like, is there going to be a plot twist? And she's like secretly helping Evangeline without telling her that she's helping Evangeline because she's really helping Jax. Like, I just couldn't remember enough of the Ballad of Never After about the whole Aurora and Jax thing to like kind of hypothesize that's probably not going to end well so that that's on me okay that's on me 
But I just, I wanted so badly for it to be like, no, she's secretly helping Evangeline. And she's not actually the worst person ever. Turns out she's the worst person ever. Oh my god. But my girl Lala, one, I want her happily ever after. Dane, I'm sorry, it's just not going to cut it. We're, we're done with Dane. Lala's moved on from Dane. Casper, though. Her and Casper? The chemistry? We felt it. Okay, we all felt it. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. And I just, I really, really loved how Evangeline and Jax ended up. Does it fully make sense to me? Frankly not. Like, how she was able to kiss him and then didn't die. Like, I don't... I don't fully wrap my head around it, but also I was just so like on this emotional overdrive. So I'm not completely shocked that I didn't fully, you know, comprehend everything happening in the moment. Okay. But that book, it was so amazing. Like every single chapter, having those little reveals of Evangeline gaining her memories and different things about like her just knowing and like feeling without the memory of just like Jax being around and she's like my heart or Apollo and it's like oh this is so wrong but like just talking about how I guess like, your heart knows your heart knows your memories didn't need to be there and I like I loved that element through the first like what two-thirds of the book before she got her memories back and my boy Jax my boy Jax I just love him so much. I love that he was just like, I need to be away from her, but I need to protect her with everything I have. And also, I love Lala being like, was he actually teaching you how to defend yourself or was he just having your hands on you? And Evangeline's like, <laughs> well, now that I think about it, minimal defense lessons, lots of touching. <laughs> Every part that Jax was in, I was melting. I, I was just, I was a goner. Just the thought of him. The first time that we got his POV, you guys saw the reaction. Like, if you know, like, if you read it, my reaction was just like, I just saw the next POV we're getting. And I, like, couldn't. I couldn't. <laughs> I was so excited. This book was so amazing. If you want to leave any comments that are spoiler, please just make sure you head that at the beginning of your comment. Also, my DMs, always available. One, always available. But two, let's talk about this book. That concludes my first ever reading vlog for a single book. Can we just start with that? I've never done that before. I always just kind of give glimpses into different reading things. Like, I'm just reading a lot in a reading vlog where it's just kind of glimpses. But this is my first time really reading a book with you guys and having this whole video dedicated to it. So if you like seeing more of these, please let me know. With that, thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you loved this book as much as I did.